it's, I don't it's, see it's, it that way. There's just some women who um admire a man who makes good money or they have a certain lifestyle that they like to maintain. They probably have their own money and they just want a man. Don't? If they don't, then it depends on what that man is going to, what, what that man's willing to deal with. But I don't feel like they, you know, they should be put in a category as like a prostitute or anything like it's, that. It's they a tough just, load to swallow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with him. I'm done with him. <laughs> <laughs> the only the only way I agree with you is if she has the same level of money that she's seeking in a man. Right? That's the only way it makes sense and it's not. But if it's if she does not, then yes, that that is go, it's it's just a level of prostitution because and it's going to turn into that. Even if you don't think it is or want it to be, that's what it's going to turn into. Be careful. These guys are coming with diseases okay they're not telling you up front that they have the disease they're just kind of waiting until you get too far gone and too deep into whatever you guys have going on to tell you that they're suffering from funzalo like funzalo is really a thing right now in our dating scene like they just ain't got it and if you suffer from funzalo leave these women alone you need to cure the funds of low disease on your own okay so again y'all make sure y'all looking out for it. it is called funds a low the funds are low like that's the disease they have it they're not telling you they have it before y'all start getting too serious so make sure y'all are looking out for the signs of funds a low it is a natural fucking disaster bigger than covid it's bigger than COVID. So make sure y'all are paying attention to the symptoms and the signs of funds alone. Okay? Oh, my God. Yeah, I so think if you're going to sit up there and make that statement, your bank statement should be visible. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you got? Wow, that was it, funny. I thought she was talking about a real disease. I did, too. I was like, what is she talking about? I was like, about? Like, I'm like, these guys are out there, like, they get these women to fall in love. It's like, I got AIDS. Like, oh, I love you so much. I want AIDS, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I ain't never in that much love. I ain't never in that much love. <laughs> no. That's where I thought it was going. And no. then this damn funds thing. But nah, That's like, hilarious. I don't think you can talk about money unless you got money. Mm. If she's broke. Shut I up. feel like a lot of women, though, are more independent and have their own money. Well, and but my point is, if she has money, which we don't know, like, uh -huh. like I respect what you're saying. But if you're just as broke as a guy that can't take you out. Oh, like, yeah. You know, when they're always now. trying to get come somebody on. that's not on their level. Yeah. Financially. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know. I'm on the fence about it. I don't really agree with that. Okay. Agree with what? With what you just said. Okay. I don't. I, I think it's okay to fish for whatever fish you want to fish for mm -hmm. but my thing is be okay with being in a box like like okay so if you're looking if you're if you want if you're looking for a man a, if a man has to have money to date you first of all depending on how much money like remember we had the one girl and she was you know saying okay you know the guy has to make whatever 200 300 whatever yeah First of all, you got to be willing to put up with that guy's what you may perceive to be BS. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. allow this guy to put you in whatever box he wants to put you in. If that's what you you know, because 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 you're well, saying you want a man to pay for the, you. That's the all. Oh, that's the prostitution lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh, that's yeah. that's that's no, what she. That's what she. If you are saying. if you are if you are targeting a a wealthy guy, like. You probably got to realize that, like, you know, at some point, you're just going to become a cost item to him and not somebody that he genuinely cares for. And that's where you kind of trade this off for, like, okay, I want this high value guy because he can afford this, afford that, or whatever. But at some point, you're just going to become a bill to him. And that's fine if you're okay with that. Yeah. He's yeah, going to yeah, go yeah. smash some other girls. Yeah. And he'll just kind of come back to you. Hey, I'm still like paying for your apartment, so I need some head. Like, what are we gonna do? I and disagree with that. I it's disagree. Real. Well, it's I mean, real. you could disagree, but then, but don't, but but don't be hurting. You know, that's all. Like, cause okay, and then take it from this aspect too. Okay, so go. To, let's move to a because different. Like, but hold but on, let's move to like, a different yeah, lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, huh? Okay. You had some. You want? I was like, I was like, 
if you like and what i'm saying this is specific to people that are like they are only interested in dating a guy who has a certain level of money mm -hmm. they're not if they're if they're prioritizing that over some sort of genuine connection or whatever mm -hmm. you're going to find yourself in that position that's the point that i'm making yes it's not like you you could meet a person and evolve in a relationship and they may end up having money but it, it's then it's maybe an organic relationship but if you're somebody that's like I'm not gonna date or talk or interact with anybody who makes less than 250. Like you're that you've basically become a prostitute. Yes, and the second lane I was moving to is 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 kind of in that lane where you have to be realistic. I think if you're a woman, if you're a single woman, you have to be realistic. Okay, so if your main thing is a guy I'm dating has to have money, whatever it is, whether it's if your if your view of money is eighty thousand, hundred thousand, two hundred, whatever your view of money is. You say, okay, I want, I need a, I want a guy. He has to have money, and then he, he, and then he has to uh, be tall, and then he has to fuck it, you know, the, you know, one kid or no kid, and then he has to have a big thing, and then he has to, you know what I'm saying, not cheat on me. But and that's so. All of that is uh, so like not realistic. That's so, what I'm saying, no, right? But saying. that's. So you're on board. <laughs> no, I'm not with you. <laughs> you're all with you're us. You, you're with I us. understand where you guys are coming from, but I'm not uh, the the part where you're talking about prostitution and stuff. I'm not agreeing with that part. But that's what it is. It's not. <laughs> I don't see it, it that way. Tell us what it is. I don't it's see a, it that way. There's just some women who um admire a man who makes good money or they have a certain lifestyle that they like to maintain they probably have their own money and they just what want they a man don't? if they don't then it depends on what that man is gonna is what, what that man's willing to deal with but i don't feel like they you know they should be put in a category as like a prostitute or anything like it's, that it's they a tough just... load to swallow <laughs> <laughs> i'm done with him <laughs> I'm done with him. <laughs> no. The I'm only so the only way I agree with you is if she has the same level of money that she's seeking in a man. Right? That's the only way it makes sense and it's not. But if it's if she does not, then yes, that that is go it's it's just a level of prostitution because and it's going to turn into that. Even if you don't think it is or want it to be, that's what it's going to turn into. You know what I mean? Um yeah, because if you don't, if you don't, and you don't have to be like dollar for dollar same financial level, right? right but right, if right. if you are not close to that other person's level financially, and you are prioritizing a lifestyle from that person, mm -hmm. that's not a genuine relationship. That's you trying to increase your status, and what are you using to do that? Understood. You know, you know that, and I'm just saying. That's out there. It doesn't mean every person does that, mm -hmm. but p some people do. And the, the reality is they tend to get, at some point in the process, treated like what they are. Some people are looking for love. Some people are looking for money. Some people right. are looking for love or look, looking for a lifestyle. It just depends on the person. I think every person's and situation is different overall. So let me ask you guys something. What are you considered a high-value man? Like, what, are you, what type of characteristics and traits do you think a man needs to have to be considered a high value man? And we're not talking like I just think financial. A, I think a bubba. A bubba? You, just <laughs> <laughs> you a high value man? <laughs> He's like that guy. I don't know. No, I mean, no, I mean you know what's funny though? Um, in, in, the, in, in the eyes of uh, a guy who passed, man, Deacon, um, what's his name? The guy who passed away? Kevin Samuel. Yeah, Deacon Samuels. He's yeah. a deacon now. Uh, well, you know, he, he did a lot of preaching, man. <laughs> oh, and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, I just thought he was a whoremonger. <laughs> well, most of them are. Okay. <laughs> Some of them are like boys. I don't know. I'm done. But uh, yeah, in his in his view, I am I, technically, I guess, a high value man. But I why? I, huh? Why are you consider because yourself? he was saying the the amount of money that you make, which my sisters are watching, so no need to go into that. And then no <laughs> no kids and. Um, and it was basically it was like salary and then no kids education as well or no? yeah something like that and he was like you're a high value man and then he got into like if you made in the next tax bracket and all well, that well what about characteristics I don't uh, and, and, but even more so what I meant what I wanted to add to that is I don't look at things like who's a high value man high value woman I don't even look in those terms matter of fact he was the first I didn't even know that term existed until you heard it from him until I heard yeah, it yeah. so I don't what, yeah, what I don't is, the, what is the other term that he utilized uh, 
hypergamy or no? Was it? He had some know. other term that he used as well. But I, I think, I think it's harder for us to answer what a high value guy is than for you two. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like what? Like is that a t- okay? I'll ask this: Is that a term that ever comes out of your mouth, like voluntarily? Is that something that? It's something that I recently start thinking about as okay. far as like what I am looking for in a high value man or what I expect in a high value man based off of how I feel. For me, finances, it doesn't have to be. I'm not really like it. Had you have to be making that much, like 200k, 500k, or anything like that, because I have my, I make my own money. But as far as like I'm looking more for like your your character. Um, I'm looking for do you show up for me? Um, are you reliable? Can I trust you? Um, you know things like that. Um, uh, dang, I can't even think. I'm on put me on the spot. Um, I'm just looking for other things besides just finances. You know, finances right. plays a major role, but it's so much deeper than just that. Can we have a connection? Can I? Are we secure um, emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually? You know, I'm just looking for different things in that aspect. But some women they don't see it that way. They look at you know just for the finance, the finance overall. Do you think that, like, as you've kind of gone through your life, that that you've kind of like refined what you're looking for? Yeah. Like, kind of just through process of it, experience, felt like yeah. that's not no, no longer important to me. I'm more important. To yeah. Me. And the older I get, I'm like, hmm, that's not really, you know. Let me ask you guys something. How do you feel about the fifty fifty rule in a relationship, as far as like with finances? As far as should it be 50-50? Like if, should it be 50-50 if your guys are living together? Are you, is she paying 50%? Are you paying 50% financially 50-50? Not emotionally or like mentally. Yeah, no, no, purely financial. I, I'm, I'm not like, a, I'm not necessarily like a hard 50-50 person in the sense that like, you know, I, I think it's weird. Like people talk about, oh yeah, uh, my partner, they just, you know, they just cash at me. They're part of the rent. Like mm-hmm. I, I, I'm more like, let's just have like a rough division of like whatever. So if, you know, whatever, somebody's do the mortgage, maybe the other person will, they're responsible for utilities and internet service or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I think it's, it's healthy if both people have some, some contribution, some skin in the game mm-hmm. and, and, a, and a purpose to that. So I think that that's good. And it's good for two reasons. It's good because I think it encourages kind of mutual respect to what each person's bringing to the table. Mm-hmm. And it's also good on the way out. Because, like, if somebody is, like, completely financially beholden to another person and dependent on them, um, that's going to impair their ability to make sensible decisions. On their own. That'll heighten their fear of leaving a relationship that may be bad for them. Mm -hmm. And I think if you do have some sort of, like, financial wherewithal, some financial responsibility, you know, you're you're going to have more you know more at stake and you're going to be better prepared i think to if you need to leave a situation realize hey i'm bringing a lot to this or not just you know sex or whatever and i i can take what i do and do it do it somewhere else so i i think it's it's good on both of those aspects okay yeah. about you Ron? Shout, shout out to dominique saying i didn't but I, I don't know what she mean by that i didn't hear the man answer the question about the high value was it literally the audio are you like are you saying that we didn't answer the question <laughs> we're answering questions up here now these are not these, what these, questions these, she's talking about I don't, I don't I, i'm know. assuming it was the high value man, yeah I, yeah, I, I yeah. Did kind of spin back your way okay but if you wanted to ask us like oh, what's the high value woman look like you know what i think it's just a better, better yeah thing. yeah because i, I yeah i'm like, not out here judging men i don't know <laughs> I don't care. If, uh, uh, I don't care if Pink or these other guys are high value men. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay, so if you were looking for a woman, a high value woman, like what are you gonna be looking for in a woman? For a woman, for you to be like, okay, wife material. What are you gonna be looking for in her? Um, my real answer. Or... I mean, <laughs> a real. You have something that's not real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have a, a, a YouTube answer. Oh, okay, yeah. she clarified the HV question. Yeah, okay. So what do you go? Yeah, ahead. yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, as far as uh, first of all, on the fifty fifty thing, it's whatever's best for your household. That's how I always answer that. Whatever's best for your household, that's how you should handle it. Mm-hmm. Uh, high volume, a uh, high value a woman. Um, I, 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 I don't look for high, high value women. I, but I, <laughs> like I, what I look for is. 
like a vibe. Like, like um, what's funny is I have a homeboy and um, in in this particular set, a homeboy is like we feel like we know each other's types, mm-hmm. and they always get me wrong because I can be all over the place. I don't really have a specific type. Mm-hmm. I look for it's weird what I look for. I can, I can see uh, um. I can see a woman and know whether she's my type or not before I even get into a conversation with her. For real? Yeah. How yeah, so? Yeah. Why? Uh, just nonverbals, uh, vibe. Um, what, if, what are some of the tells that you're picking up nonverbal? Uh, and is this somebody across the room for you or somebody like sitting in close Yeah, it could be in, in a close club. Proximity. It could be a bar. It could be close by. It could be a library. Okay. You know, it could be. <laughs> Put it, us it on. Be, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just really good, man. When's the last time I'm gonna take. You, you want to go deeper on that? Yeah, let's no, go deep. No, no Diddy, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's no. That's definitive. I'm definitive. done with him. <laughs> Why are you so done with me? What I'm really good at. What I'm. I like no lie. I'm probably the best on the planet. Oh my god. <laughs> I could tell when a woman gives good head or not. I could tell when a woman has bap coochie or not. I could tell bad coochie or not? bap, like loose bap. Okay, which is not always a bad thing. First of all, and um, bap coochie is not bad. No, because I last longer. Um, it's all about bubble. No, I mean it's not, y'all. Are it's off about the her chain. too. If I last longer, it's a good for her too. Oh my yeah. god, y'all off the chain. In I'm a roundabout done. way, I guess. <laughs> 